Hi guys, it's Cassie from Harlow's Earth, and today we are celebrating that we are halfway through the pregnancy, week 20, so here we are at the beach doing some yoga. So even if you aren't at the beach, take a moment and just be so grateful you've made it, you're halfway there, 40 weeks of pregnancy, about, hopefully 40, and we're halfway there. So today we're going to have a really nice flow practice inspired by the ocean behind us. So it's going to be very peaceful, very beautiful. Away we go. Getting comfortable here, sitting up nice and tall, grounding ourselves, taking that right hand to the heart and the left hand on your growing bump, closing and softening the eyes as you begin to just become one with the breath. Breathing in, filling up your belly, filling up your heart. Exhale out through the heart, pulling the belly button in. Keep going with that pattern of belly, then chest, and reverse chest and belly. Staying mindful with the breath. Noticing how you're feeling, how the baby's moving. about our lower spine again it's just more of our upper chest into our rib cage circling one direction make it as small as you need to if you want to incorporate the arms get the full free flow experience going reverse that again you can go as small or as big as you like coming right back around right through center straighten and lengthen those legs reaching your arms out in front of you and we're exhaling as if rounding over a big yoga ball inhale to lift exhale round those shoulders forward you're gonna love this stretch especially after nursing or breastfeeding your baby it is fabulous on opening up the whole thoracic spine Release, exhale. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, big reach forward. Great. Taking your left arm, big reach up and over, mermaid stretch to the side. Looking down at that grounded hand and then lifting the chin and chest, reach it up. Opening back up, switching arms, looking off to the other side, lifting through the rib cage. Take your chin up to the sky, reaching with your chin and your gaze. And then opening back up to seated. Good, swing those legs around, come up onto all fours. Feeling strong, wrists are right below the shoulders, knees below the hips. As we exhale our spine up, inhale to drop it down. Exhale, rounding through our cat. Inhale, reverse. Good, feel free to go at your own breath with your own timing. Wonderful. Side to side, lateral flexion. Tailbone and crown go toward each other. Take your time, find more dimension in this stretch. More openness throughout your ribs. Coming back through center, let's take our right arm reach, left leg back. Find that long length and balance. And then pull them into the chest, elbow and knee. Reach it out for the inhale. 
exhale bring it in if you're finding yourself off balance you can do just the arm or just the leg exhale bring it in keep going big reach big exhale facilitated by the breath looking strong mama keep going and down bring it in let's switch it up you got this left arm right leg big reach and lift let's take it in exhale inhale big reach exhale keep going Let's bring it back down and into the center. Let's take those toes, tuck them under as we shoot up into downward dog. We're gonna go into our plie sequence here. Heels come together, toes point out. As you bend your knees, your heels lift. Lengthen and straighten. Bend the knees, lift the heels. Reach it back up. Again, go slowly if you want to. Take your time. Feel the different sensations in your hips and your legs and your glutes. Awesome. Take that right foot up now. Reach it right between the hands. We're going to spiral up to warrior two. Back foot faces the side of the mat. Front foot faces the front. Take a moment to find this posture. Good. Take your palms upward and back down here. We're going to rotate in the shoulder and back. Palms up, palms down. Taking in all that beautiful energy around you. Release the hands right behind the back, grabbing onto your elbows if you can, or your forearms, or even a reverse prayer. Coming through to our extended angle, so going towards the right leg, lifting back up through warrior two to a reverse warrior. So we're just going back and forth, arms stay bound behind the back, opening the chest, reverse warrior, again, extended angle, reverse warrior, keep breathing. Wonderful. Keep it up. Lifting through the chest and the heart. Release those arms. Let them float back up. Spiral back down to the earth. Untwist the back foot. Left arm's going to plant on the earth this time. Right arm's going to twist up. If you need to, that belly's starting to get in the way. Take that left arm out a little bit. A little bit further on the edge of the mat. Bring it back down. Right leg reaches back through three-legged dog and down dog. You got this. Let's reach forward through a plank, drop the knees through a mini chaturanga, elbow stay next to the body, lift back up through down dog. Our little mini vinyasa flow. I'm going to work the other side now. So taking that left leg now, reach it up, bring it right between the hands. Good. Back foot pivots, come up through warrior two. Good. Front knee is right over the ankle. You're looking great. Again with the wrist, tilt them up and down. Towards the sun, towards the earth. Breathe. Getting the full rotation into our shoulders. Release. Arms bound behind the back. If you can remember which one was bound on top, try to go the opposite. Go extended angle towards the side, lifting up through reverse. Keep going with the breath. So the chest is leading the way. As we come down through extended angle, the chest highlights the side wall. As we come back, we lift our chest up to the sky.
bound those arms now, spiraling back to the earth, untwist the back foot, right arm takes the earth as your left arm's gonna spiral that heart up towards the side. Left arm keeps reaching up. Again, you can take that right arm more wide if you like. Release back down to the earth. Left leg comes back through three-legged dog and down dog. Come through your vinyasa flow, little small chaturanga, and push up back into downward facing dog. Great. Let's go ahead and step up to the front of the mat now, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift once again, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Rolling up the spine, soften the knees, tailbone tucks under, roll it up. Arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, big reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Roll it on up. Inhale those arms up, exhale hands to heart. Good, inhale big reach of the arms, exhale swan dive to forward fold. Inhale half lift, exhale fold, roll it on up. Inhale big reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, our mini abbreviated sun salutation there. Fabulous, take those arms up to the side for our mountain pose. Palms face the front, feet are relaxed under you, and ground yourself through the earth, lengthening through the backs of the leg, through the spine. Hips are right below you, shoulders back, Lift through the eyebrows. Here you are, right where you're supposed to be. Breathing in our mountain Tadasana pose. Coming here at any time throughout your day to find the stillness and peace. Let's take it into a straddle now. So take those feet out wide. Toes are gonna be facing outward. Inhale, energy up. Exhale, goddess arms down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, elbows pull back, shoulder blades pull together. Inhale, big reach. Sit bones come right underneath you on the exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, deep plie. Keep going. Find your rhythm. Release your hands to the knees. We're gonna rotate that left shoulder forward, getting a little stretch in our spine. And then rotate your right shoulder forward. Take those hands to the earth, lengthen back up, straightening your legs. Now your feet are going to come in parallel with each other, still staying in a straddle. If you feel good here, see if you can reach your arms back between your legs, palms on the ground without doing a somersault. Breathe here, fully releasing at the hips. Good. Bring those fingertips back up to the front. We're gonna do some flies here. So opening, pulling the shoulders back, arms stay straight. Reach back those shoulder blades together and come back. Reach those wings out and down, making sure we don't lock our knees here. Keep reaching back. Good, strengthening our whole back here. Hands come back to the earth, walk those feet together so that the heels are right below the shoulders. We're going to come up onto the balls of our feet and sit down through our plie, 
so that the sit bones are right underneath your shoulders. If you can, see from here if you can drop those heels into the mat. Palms come together in prayer. You can keep your hands in front of you if you need to, or even on a chair if you had one nearby. Release the hands to the earth. Sit on back down. Very nice. Getting comfortable with that squat position as we get closer towards labor. Let's take our hands right behind us now. Palms are facing our toes. Lifting your heart up towards the sky. Breathing in all the goodness. Go ahead and release down to the elbows now. Again, this is our Venice Beach Pose. So lifting up through the chest here. Flexing the feet as well. Feeling all of the goodness and energy from around you. Coming back up out of it. Very nice. Take your right leg now over your left knee. And if that's not enough, pull that left leg towards you a little bit. Think about letting that right knee just settle and release. So we're releasing into the hip. Good, breathe into it. Every opportunity for this discomfort is helpful for us. It'll help us through labor. Switch it up, other side. So left foot crosses over the right, lengthening through the spine. Again, release the left knee. And when you notice discomfort, try to breathe into it. Don't shy away. Go ahead and release. Let's roll on down to our backs and off to one side. So finding that comfortable position for your Shavasana, if you wanna get some pillows or gather blankets, you sure could. Find a resting spot where you can truly check out and allowing your mind to rest here. Once your muscles are really released, counting backwards from 10 all the way to one and letting your breath just continue naturally.
Taking a deep breath as you stretch and then come on back up to a seated posture. Finding that comfortable position once again, taking your hands to your heart, feeling at peace, being very grateful for this dedicated experience, your determination and drive through all of this, through your pregnancy and then beyond. Breathing in peace and breathing out peace. Namaste. All right, yogis, we'll see you next week. Thank you.